Now, Laurie, I understand this has just arrived by special delivery. Yeah, I think we'll start this video in an orthodox fashion by saying the date today right. is the 19th of April, 2023, and today is the day that the uh, latest Macallan ballot in their folio series is launched, made available to, to the public. Fortunately, so we're in a head, we're we're, ahead of the we've game. managed to get a bit of a head start. We've managed well to done. source a bottle of Macallan Folio 7 already, which is fantastic. And we're going to make a very bold move and actually open it and taste it. Um, so we'll be the first people in the world to, to taste it. Pretend, other than Apart from the blenders. I'd imagine yeah. so. Um, obviously, bottles like this is a hugely popular series celebrating the you know, press and print campaigns of the 70s, 80s and 90s. But it's very much evolved into like a collector's piece. Yeah, um, yeah. Lots of people have them, lots of people hold on to it and watch the value fluctuate. Not many have been opened and, and tasted, but you know, we like to do things a bit different at yeah, Bevy. So of course. we've got a Folio 7 here and it's, yeah. Well, very, tell, very us, tell us about the, the, the background to the Folio series. Sure. So, as I say, it's all about reminiscing about McCallum's early days and their first steps into building the brand, which is obviously so huge and so popular today. Um, the series so far kind of looks at sort of witty and quirky advertisements or illustrations that have been done. This and they were groundbreaking. They were yes, groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah, they really were. So this is, I noticed this is number seven in the series. Yes. Um, how long will the series, do we know? So they're planning to have 24 wow. different yeah. releases. Yeah. So yeah. at the moment, they're averaging about one per year, yeah. roughly. Um, as I say, Folio 7 is, is the latest one yeah. at, at time of filming. Um, the label on this one is quite, a, quite an amusing little story. So this, the title, if you like, is uh, the, the Boffins Baffled. And this harks back to a, a story of they, McCallan got in a team of scientists to try to determine what made McCallan so magical. What was the secret ingredient? Um, and the story goes that they, you know, analysed the samples, couldn't work out what gave it that extra, you know, je ne sais quoi. Um, and the label depicts the, the lab technicians, the scientists taking away a whole cast back to the back to the lab for, for further, analysis. further analysis or yeah, something. Funny. So it's a lovely little story. It is interesting because because the, 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 the all the the uh, these the, the whole campaign the adverts were very much story based and mm. indeed they they advertised for people to tell them stories about yep. so the, oh just this comes from the the distillery itself but you know we stories about the um, to to do to do with the the, yeah. the the Macallan and it's a very it's a very good idea and of course the it was groundbreaking stuff, and some of the illustrations. This is a curious. We thought this was Quentin Blake, didn't we? But I, I, I don't yeah, think it, it is, is Quentin so, Blake. It is, no, it's another illustrator, but it's, it's a really but They, they were famous, famous thing. illustrators, and mm. the, uh, um, but all very quirky and yeah. the most unusual for its time. Yeah. The, 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 I think that they began to promote McAllen as a brand, the company, in 1980, 81. Okay. And the, um, prior to that, it was, it was very well known amongst blenders but mm. they, but but all but a tiny fraction yep. went for um, yeah. went for blending yep. yeah. um, and they started to set aside uh, juice in uh, 1966 okay no uh, 66 to to uh, to start um, preparing for, mm. for for promoting it as a single malt yeah and the uh, as I said, and they they employed Holmes Knight Ritchie, the London advertising agency, legendary a agency, to do the advertising. They were appointed in eighteen sixty-seven, actually, but okay. the, they weren't ready to go to market until mm. the uh, the very late late seventies. Yeah, suppose as a spirit, Macallan's always it's quite distinctive, I suppose, mm. because it's so heavy, so oily, and I suppose for blending in the you know sixties yeah. and seventies, it what would that have? Just given a blend of extra added, depth. It, yep, and a bit yep, of, yep. I think mm. what they, they, they call it top dressing. McCallum okay. call refer to themselves as a top dressing malt. Usually it's, it's referred to as top class. Okay. There's a, only a handful, about a dozen um, malts for blending purposes, mm. which are ranked okay. by, generally speaking, by blenders as top class. And then okay. you've got first, second, third class. Sure. And then uh, Lowland, these are all Highland whiskies, um, mm. Isla, Lowland, and Campbelltown. Okay. Yeah. But I think the. Yeah, this series has been a curious one to, to explore. Um, as I say, the bottles are very much collector's pieces, and I I had sort of hesitations about the quality of the whiskey. I thought they'll just be put in any old 
any old yeah. cheap cheap well, McAllen in there. But it's it's been we, we've been impressed so far, haven't the we? The quality has been mm. been very very consistent. Mm. Um, this one, I say, Folio Seven is brand new, and uh, we're very fortunate to be able to get our hands on it uh, today. So. Yeah, without further ado, shall we open it up open and see it up. if it's up, as good as mm -hmm. the ones that came before? Yep. Let's give it a try. And they, and you'll agree that they're, they're all very Macallan. Mm. They, they, it's a real good old-fashioned style of Macallan. Um, um, they, they, they don't disappoint, these, these ones. So hopefully some people will not just put it on a, on a, on the shelf. I know, this, this could be the only one that's ever opened. Who knows? Um, <laughs> who knows? If we give it a glowing review, who knows? Maybe that will, that will change Cause it. Because it comes, get, get, let me just show this to the camera. The, the, it comes in these huge books. The, the, so you could, have a, you could have a library of, of uh, it's, a, it's tin, metal. Mm, they are enormous though. I think for a series, as we say, it's, it's going to be 24 releases. That's a, Heck, we need to buy a whole new house to fit it, fit it all in. <laughs> yes. um, but it's, I think it's a very creative series, it's a very distinctive series. Um, and obviously from a whiskey perspective, it's, it's important that the liquid's good too. So yeah. It is important, it is, it's essential. Yeah. Now then, Folio 7, we've opened it, as I say, it became available, well, the ballot to purchase was opened a matter of hours ago. We're fortunate to be able to source a bottle uh, out with the ballot. And so, so we are the first people in the world, <laughs> consumers, <laughs> Potentially, to, to, yeah. to, to, to taste it. Yeah, I think the what full... Historic occasion. Oh, cheers. <laughs> that. Yeah, amazing. Um, this particular one, does it look and smell like a Macallan from first impressions? Well, I would say yes and no. I think it's, this has also got a fair proportion of American oak maturation. Okay. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting... I'm getting a cereal top note. Mm. Um, 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 it's slightly sweet, so it's a bit like muesli, or it's a bit okay. like um, it's not exactly sugar puffs, but it's just, it's okay. a, there's a sweetness yeah, there. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, muesli, and it's got some some dried fruits in in the mm. muesli. Do you think I suggest? Predominantly American oak that's been used. That's uh, there's certainly a fair amount. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll see when we taste mm. it. But the um, on the nose, it's it's led by by American oak ex sherry. Yeah, again, a very inviting nose. Should we give it a little try and see see if any of that European oak yeah, comes through? Yeah, it's got this the sugared note. It's it's um, it's very it's a very it's a very attractive. It's sweet, mm. it's sweeter than. That, hence, yeah, that's right, because the, the classic Macallan is more, is drier, it's mm -hmm. more nose drying because yeah. of the tannins yes, in the, in it's the, kind the of leathery and, yeah. yeah, and this is, this is, this is sweeter. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right, now, slanch. slanch. Let's give us a try. It is sweeter overall, but then mm. very peppery. Mm. Just as you swallow it. This is the, 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 the most American oak lead of the ones we've looked at. Yep. It doesn't dry to the same extent as mm. most of the others. Enjoyable? Are you enjoying it's it? Very, that, much so, yeah. very much so, the, very the much so. The peppery finish is that. I, I must say, I'm, I would almost put a little bit of water in it, but the... Mm. the, the um, yeah, so the full Folio series is um, bottled at 43%, so you wouldn't expect too much kind of heat no, from no, the alcohol. No. Um, but obviously, even when it is bottled at a fairly low strength, sometimes a few drops of water can open it up and change the complexion. It drinks very well at 42%. Mm. That cereal note does run, run right through. And now it's the, the, the aftertaste is, is faintly nutty. Okay. Walnuts, I would say. Yeah, yeah you don't, you don't seem totally... Enamoured with this one is it a slight disappointment. I'm not, what do you I'm think? not I'm, it's not it's not as obviously Macallan mm, as, okay. as as some of the others um, for me. But, but it's a very pleasant drink. Pleasant, yeah. I think it's yeah probably not a whiskey that's going to change your life. Um, no, the series, as we say, is very much collectible. Um, and, well, and there again, you see, you must you, you, one. But I also think given given that blind, 
Yes. Where yeah. would it stand? What, how would you score it? Do you know, what, on a simple marks out of ten. Marks out of ten, <laughs> and the the you know no age statement. Um, you would certainly have it as space side because of the sweetness. Yeah. You, the, the I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure I would guess it as a Macallan. Mm. It, it, it certainly is. It, it, it pro probably would. I don't yeah, know. I think in a blind tasting, I would. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably think. give it sort of six, six and a half out of mm. ten. Yeah, middle of the road. Yeah, I would say so. Um, yeah, still, but it's a very nice. It's, a, it's a nice dram. It's an easy drinking dram. Yeah, nothing wrong with it for sure. Um, Buy two bottles, one for the collection and one to drink with your friends. Good advice. Sounds great. But um, yeah. Not the best, but not the worst. But not the Charity. worst, my goodness me. Yeah. But no, well, a pleasure to open what, it. What a joy it's been. It's yeah. been a lovely morning tasting these whiskeys. It's, it's been really glorious. It's a privilege. Yeah, but no. Well done, McAllen. Well I done, McAllen. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Good stuff. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>